friends. So I have one of my friends with me. I hope you watched the videos yesterday um, about the aquarium. So today we're going to talk about the part of the aquarium. The exhibit is called Ocean Explorer. So in the aquarium there are lots of areas where you can see animals that are swimming inside big plastic looks like huge fish tanks and so those are all the animals that live in the ocean not all of them just some of them are at the aquarium and one of those animals is a shark so I have a book that I want to show you this is an information book and it's called incredible sea creatures so today I want you to think about some of the animals that live in the sea and then I have some videos in the playlist for you today about some of the animals that you can see in the sea and animals that are also at the aquarium. This is an information book so it's just going to give us information about sea creatures. So. In part of the ocean, there is what's called a coral reef. Coral reefs are beautiful underwater areas where incredible sea creatures live. Many different kinds of coral create the reef. Some of the coral is shaped like a tree, others like a flower, and some look like a brain. So all of these things that you see right here, this is coral and it's hard and it's part of the sea, part of the ocean. And it's a lot of times it will be closer to the edges or to shallow parts in the ocean. And fish live among the coral. So inside their hard outer skeletons live tiny jelly-like coral animals called polyps. This is what builds the undersea world. So in the sea, in the ocean, there is like another world, another world of all sorts of different animals that live there. Many of the coral reef creatures are slow moving and they never leave the reef. The reef is almost like a mountain that's in the ocean. Some flutter through the water like the mini-finned seahorse. Others slide along the seabed floor. But like men, the many-armed starfish, even the sea urchin, an animal that looks like a plant, is able to creep slowly over the rocks and the sand. So there are all sorts of different animals that live close to the coral. There is coral all over in the ocean and it's usually in the shallow places or in the very, very deep places. Some of the loveliest reef creatures are the sea anemones. Some are small, no bigger than a grape. This is a sea anemone. Do you remember the story of Nemo? And he lived in an anemone. Some are small, no bigger than a grape. Others can be six feet wide. Beware, those pretty petal-like tentacles contain a poison that can stun fish and other kinds of prey. There are also some animals called sea sponges. Sponges come in all sorts of unusual shapes. Their skeletons are made of spongin, a stretchy material. This is where we get the natural sponges we use to wash with. So, your family might have some sponges that they use to wash their body with that look a lot like a sea sponge. And that's where we get those sponges from the sea. There is a giant clam. The giant clam can grow to five feet across and weigh 500 pounds. It opens its huge shell to feed on plankton and algae and tiny animals with that and plant-like life forms. That was tricky to say. So the giant clam likes to eat small plankton and algae and tiny 
plants and it opens up its shell. Mrs. Hoffman's never seen one of those. The seahorse is another animal that you might see. The seahorse has a strange shape for a fish. Its tail can wind around water plants to hold it in place. To move, the little seahorse beats its fan-like fin. So it has a little fin right here that helps it move. Another type of animal you might see in the ocean is a sea slug. Sea slugs are called the jewels of the sea. They range from 4 to 20 inches long. See that feathery fringe on its back? That helps the sea slug take in oxygen from the water. I love these. Mrs. Hoffman loves starfish. You will see starfish at the aquarium. A starfish uses its many arms to move about and catch food. It wraps its arms around a clam and pulls the shell apart to get to the soft animal inside. Did you know that if a starfish loses one of the parts of its body, they're called arms, it can grow another new part. It's interesting. Another animal you might see in the ocean is a jellyfish or jellies. They are not fish. They are soft sea creatures that float in open water. Their long tentacles deliver a painful poisonous sting that kills its prey. And when Mrs. Hoffman goes to the ocean, you can see jellyfish and you have to stay away from them. Coral may look like a plant, but it is an animal. This hard outer part protects the soft polyps inside. Each polyp sends out tiny stinging tentacles to catch plankton, tiny, tiny fish. There is a spotted eel that you might see in the ocean. What's that snake-like creature peeking out from between the rocks? It's a fish called a moray eel. Never wave your hand in front of an eel. It might mistake it for an octopus and bite it. Here is another kind of eel called a ribbon eel. Sharks. The largest predators in the reef are called sharks. Just like many other of the reef creatures, sharks have no bones. They have a firm tissue called cartilage, like the cartilage that forms in your ears. So feel your ear. And that type of tissue feels just like the bones that are in a shark. This is a white tip reef shark. This is a tiger shark, it has stripes. And this one is a hammerhead shark. And I think you can see at least two of those at the aquarium. You can also see stingrays at the aquarium. Stingrays are related to sharks. Like sharks, they have no bones. They are a flat fish with wide fins. They flap their fins to move through the water. The stingray has a sharp barb on the end of its tail. It has poison in this barb. When the stingray strikes with its tail, it stings. Here is the clownfish, like Nemo. And this is a different kind of clownfish called a clown trigger fish. You may also see a fish called a parrot fish. This is a grouper fish, and this is a pallet surgeon fish. So many, many different kinds of fish. This is a trumpet fish, a lion fish, a porcupine fish, and a stone fish. And I think you can see at least two or three of those at the aquarium. There is also a fish called a humphead wrasse. This fish is a whopper. It's up to six feet long and 300 pounds. Another kind of animal 
in the ocean is a sea turtle. And here are some other types of fish. An ocean sunfish and a dugong. That's interesting. Mrs. Hoffman's never heard of this animal before. There are also octopus in the ocean. And the last one in this book is called an angler fish. This one lives in the very bottom of the ocean where it's very dark. And this fearsome looking fish has a huge mouth with a double row of sharp teeth. The angler fish has a fishing pole that grows out of its head and it wiggles to attract fish and it wiggles that little fishing pole and then the fish come to it and it swallows the fish. That's an interesting one. So I want you to look on our playlist today and see if there are some animals that you would like to learn more about. You don't have to watch all of the videos. Mrs. Hoffman just likes to give you a lot of them to choose from, but find the ones that look interesting and learn some more about them.